Okay, so this is my methane digester concoction. Um, there's cow manure and horse manure and uh, some fruit and nasty food that has gone bad. I'm going to add some more here. It's uh, beautiful. I'm not going to stick my hand in it though. The bacteria will chew on this stuff and essentially create methane. to stir it. I'm not sticking my hand in there. It looks very attractive. <laughs> very attractive to bacteria at least. It's all stirred up. It's good enough. I can get that off of there. Oh yeah, it smells good. Now, we're going to put the lid on. This has a hole cut in the bottom. So as I push this in, you can back up and get me a little bit. As I push this down in there, all the, the ingredients are going to come up inside here. So it's, it's going to come all the way up to the top. So there won't be any air inside. Um, and there's a valve on top so that when I need to, I can release it. But the idea is, is that I'm going to release the valve. And as this, here, let me release it first, if I can. There we go. As the bacteria create methane, this can raise back up with the methane that is produced. And I gotta do it slowly, otherwise I'm gonna make a mess. slower than that. But anyways, so once I get this all the way down, um, it's going to sit and hopefully the weather will be nice so that the bacteria will want to be active. Um, if you think about it, they're inside the, the cow's gut, which is probably around the same temperature as a human body, somewhere around 100 degrees. So they're more active at that temperature. So as long as the weather is nice, the bacteria will be active. They'll create methane. This will raise back up with methane inside of it. And then when I need it, I can release the valve and I will have methane. And hopefully this will work. But it's definitely nasty right now. So I guess we'll see you in two weeks and see how it goes. Thanks. So it's been about a week since I put the lid on. And as you can see, We've got methane. Looking pretty good. It's got another few days to go, and uh, then we'll do some experiments. What we have underneath here is methane it, that was created. It didn't create that much. It kind of stopped, but um, the idea now is that we're going to release the valve, and we've got this tube attached to it, and it smells like it. And I'm going to put this tube into the soapy water, and I'm going to press down on the methane digester, and it's going to create bubbles and then we're going to try and get a column of methane bubbles and try and light it on fire so let's see if this works. This is a one-time deal. How about I will hold that tube there for you. Because the yeah. okay. um, you're going to want to grab that valve with both hands because it's hard to move. Yeah. Okay. So Is grab the in? whole thing like now this? turn the valve. The valve is open, and yes. I'm pressing down. Ooh, okay. gross. Wait until it gets big. Wait, 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 wait. We want a column. Don't light it on fire just yet. God, this is gross. <laughs> so Do you want me to zoom in on it now, or? But they don't seem to be lighter than air like I thought they were. Yeah, zoom down in there as best you can. Okay, do you want me to see if they're I can flammable hold this. yet? No, not yet. I really don't want to light this whole thing on fire. It's, if it gets it's too sinking. 
Okay, well, light it on fire, see what you can do. This is disgusting, I need a bath. No fire! Okay, well, bye! <gasps>